In this video, you will get a quick overview on the key Voltus features implemented in the 22.11 release. First, we will look at the enhancement in GUI to load and display the layer-based thermal map files and then we will explore the following key features. Chip-centric thermal analysis for the Voltus XP flow. Support for reading hierarchical open access databases. Dual peak generation for datasheet based current characterization. And automatic queue allocation of power jobs. Users can now view the temperature distribution of all layers in the temperature map for comprehensive thermal analysis. In the layers tab of the power and rail layers nets form, thermal layers field has been added and thermal layer name parameter has been added to the set power rail display command. Voltus can perform chip-centric thermal analysis to handle very large designs without loading design data into memory. It has the following three main steps. The first step is Voltus Thermal Model or VTM generation which involves extraction of metal density and generation of power database. The metal density file and power database can be combined for VTM generation using the create thermal model command. The second step is to perform die only thermal analysis. The temperature map per die is produced for the Voltus solution to perform thermal aware sign off. In the third step, you could use the temperature map generated by Celsius to run Voltus thermal aware power IR and EM analysis. Voltus now supports the reading of hierarchical open access databases wherein you can specify both the top level and block level open access databases. You can use the specify OA command for large designs to obtain better performance during analysis. You will be able to save the memory and runtime that takes to load the design during analysis. The datasheet based current characterization method has been fine tuned to support dual peak modeling. Now, the datasheet generated waveform contains a main peak and an additional precharged peak to better align with the SPICE simulation waveform. Now, you can automatically determine the queue for power jobs using the enable auto queue parameter of the set power analysis mode command. This parameter will be beneficial when there are uneven power block partitions. For example, if there are some blocks with 20 to 30 million instances and there are some with 3 to 5 million instances. Using this feature, bigger blocks will be automatically assigned to a bigger queue and smaller blocks to smaller queue resulting in better runtime. Now that you know about the top features of Voltus, what are you waiting for? Download Silicon Signoff and Verification 22.11 and experience faster power signoff and design closure.